गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो एज पर टाइम टेबुल फॉर द एम ए सेमेस्टर थर्ड हु हैज ऑप्टेड पॉपुलेशन स्टडीज एज ए स्पेशलाइज पेपर अमॉन्ग द टू पेपर द फर्स्ट पेपर आई हैव कवर्ड थ्री यूनिट्स इन द फर्स्ट पेपर एंड नाउ टूडे इन द same first paper the third unit entitled with fertility and nuptiality topic so students today i will deal with the concept of fertility and nuptiality and this is two different concept but linked with each other so i will begin with nuptiality and then in the second class tomorrow i will deal with fertility okay so let's start the concept of fertility and nuptiality so students before dealing with the terminology nuptiality uh as per uh our understanding as as per the demographic events just remember one more term that is called as family demography and what is it what is family demography that is qualities of and and concern and connections between family or households members so this we can say as a family demography that means qualities of and connections between family or households members so this together can be used as term family demography and in in which there are various terms which i will tell you in the next slide that there is a term marriage that is institution divorce is also event remarriage is also event cohabitation is also event intergenerational relationships also in event division of labor in households is also a process of family demography and multi partner fertility etc are the terminology used for the family demography okay so students let's start the term nuptiality you, we all know that in the demographic event i earlier told you the important event is marriage and that marriage when we measure it in the annual term basis that is called as nuptiality just like fertility which in which we measure the birth rate of a particular country that is called fertility okay so what is nuptiality the frequency and characteristics of marriage in a population very simple and very clear that the frequency and characteristics of marriage in a population is called as nuptiality vivah ke dar ko kisi bhi jansankhya mein vivah ke dar frequency ko aur uske charitra ko jab hum measure karte hain to usko hum log vaivahik dar kehte hain okay unlike fertility mortality and migration research on nuptiality or we can say that marriage rate and characteristics has been limited because there are the term crude marriage rate i will tell you later on all the marriage rate but here we can understand about the crude marriage rate that is the ratio of the number of marriages during the year to the average population in that year a variety of marriage rates are used to measure nuptiality and first marriage rate and remarriage rate is also a terminology within that okay so in the first slide i told you as per your syllabus the meaning of nuptiality okay and then there are different concept related to that we should also understand about those concept because in many times two marks question consist of this type of terminologies so first is polygamy polygamy is a, a marriage pattern in which one man marry, marries more than one woman at a time this in many part of the world also in india this polygamy exist because a marriage pattern in which one man marries more than one women at a time 
and we all know in Muslim community there is a polygamy structure of marriage okay so this is also we have to we have to see and we have to measure the polygamy issue of any country okay and second is monogamy actually practice in our Hindu mythology the practice of having only one spouse at one time in some cases monogamy means having only one spouse for an entire life span just like in India हमारे भारत में तो कहा जाता है कि हम लोगों का सात जन्मों का संबंध है तो दैट मीन्स वी आर वेरी स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो द रूल ऑफ मोनोगेमी एंड देन थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट इवेंट कम्स आफ्टर दिस मैरिज पोलोगेमी एंड मोनोगेमी इज ए डिवोर्स यू ऑल नो पोलोगेमी प्रैक्टिस बाय वीमेन मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी एंड ऑल्सो डिवोर्स इज अ वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली फॉलोड बाई दिस कम्युनिटी so divorce is the legal process in which a judge legally ends a marriage the results leaves the status of the two individuals as single and a divorce does not declare a marriage null and void as in an annulment but instead states that the marriage was unsuccessful for any one variety of reason and declares the two individuals as single so this is also very important terminology when we are talking about the neutrality and this is used in developed countries and in developed societies divorce is a uh, normal phenomena okay and in india also nowadays in urban society divorce is now is a nominal phenomena okay so the next is a coevulation this terminology is also practiced in many part of the globe especially in the uh, era of modernization and for this study cohabitation means persons who while not married have lived as married person for a period of not less than 5 years we all uh, nowadays hearing about the living partnership that is a part of cohabitation pair lives together don't marry but live together long a uh, time till long time and if that is uh, more than 5 years uh, out, uh, that is less than 5 years that is called as cohabitation okay and then the normal term fertility fertility comes that means the actual birth performance of a population i will tell you in next class there is a one more term called singulate mean age at marriage mean in many research papers we will uh, uh, see the term ysm am that means the average length of single life expressed in years among those who marry before age 50 pachars was ke age ke pehle jo shaadi ho jati hai jab usko hum log average ke roop mein measure karte hain to usko singulate mean age at marriage kaha jata hai and then comes the period of child bearing this is also a specific event the act or process of carrying and giving birth to a child and this is very much related to fertility and dear students then we will measure the term total fertility rate for which i will take another class okay here i will explain you in the first class only the term neutrality and now i i am here to explain the terminology of neutrality so students marriage marks the onset of regular exposure to pregnancy and is therefore a proxy determinant of fertility its demographic economic socio cultural and health implications set the stage of reproductive activities such as legitimizing entry into sexual activities and child birth so this is how you can explain the term neutrality and marital status can also influence other demographic events such as family formation migration very important topic and demand for social services such as schools housing and health services i told him in online class all the details about this criteria okay and a review of the level levels patterns and differentials in marriage within a population can provide a critical directions in the formulation of programs and policies that promote the enhancement of family life so students 
when we are talking about the nuptiality rate we should first know about the age at first marriage and age at first marriage marks the time of entry into marital life and regular exposure to the risk of child bearing assuming that fertility often takes place within marriage and contraceptive practices are non existent there is a positive relationship between age at first marriage and fertility so that means age at first marriage is a very much important believing that in that particular region in that that particular countries contraceptive practices are non existent and then it is directly linked with the fertility okay and the modernization theory argues that socio economic development affects age at first marriage through self selection of spouse and economic independence of women this is the modernization theory theorist who, which argues this type of argument okay and and very frequently students let us talk about the various measures very simple you have to learn you have to remember this measurement when uh, when you have to deal with any uh, table and question asked to calculate the marriage or divorce rate then first there is a crude marriage rate or crude divorce rate i i am telling it together because the same formula apply in marriage and same formula apply in divorce only terminology m and d will be changed so cmr is m by p into 1000 that is total marriage in total population into 1000 is called it cmr and if you will change the term m as d then this is cdr is equal to d by p into 1000 so this is the simple measurement of crude marriage or crude divorce rate in a in a single formula okay and then come general marriage or general divorce rate in general marriage rate m is the same but divided by population specific of females more than 15 plus in 2000 and if we will talk about divorce here we will use d and here we will use d gdr is equal to d by p here 15 plus 1000 so this is simple general marriage or general divorce rate followed by this uh, formula in which the population portion is defined with the female 15 plus population and next is refined divorce or marriage rate refined divorce or marriage means my d by p f by marriage total marriage of a female among the population that is called as refined divorce and when we put here m that is called